right, so we're working on Eric's truck today and uh, had a little bit of a valve issue. The head's been replaced by his shop and they didn't um, make the valve adjustment properly and there's some pretty good clatter coming from the valve. So um, quite a few of them are loose here where uh, when they should be set to their proper preload, um, you got a little bit of rocker arm movement. So that's not what you, what you want really. So we're going back through and getting this set up right. And uh, the first thing we like to do here is, um, you know, kind of write out which valves you're working on and, uh, or which cylinders and then which valves you've done. So in this case, um, we got four done, we got four to go. And there's a few methods that um, you can do to do this. And uh, one of them is where you would go in and you wanna rotate your push rod while you're tightening up your, uh, your rocker nut until you feel a little bit of drag. And at that point, um, you're gonna go ahead and stop tightening it up and then take it exactly one half turn. And we'll demonstrate this for you in a second. Another way that's a little less accurate is you hold onto the push rod and you move it up and down. It should have some up and down play. And as soon as you lose that up and down play, um, then you're gonna go ahead and make your valve adjustment from there. But that's pretty difficult to feel. So uh, we're gonna go, ahead, we're using the rotation method and these stock style rocker nuts are a little bit more tricky where when you're um, tightening them you don't want to push down your wrench because if you push down your wrench you're making contact with your rocker arm and then um, obviously it's pushing against your push rod and you're not getting um, a proper reading so anyway we're going to go ahead and do a few valves and demonstrate this for you here and keep moving right on through all right, so we're going to go ahead and adjust our um, our rocker here. And um, what we've done is we've turned our engine over until we're on the max lift of our opposing lobe. So we're on the, the lift lobe on the cam for this valve. So we're back on the base circle for um, the opposing valve on the cylinder. And as we see here, um, it's got some up and down play on the push rod. So um, it's adding into our noise issue that we're having in our lifter clatter. So we're going to go ahead and adjust this one properly. So I'm going to have, um, you can do this by yourself. It's a little more difficult, but um, two people is even better. I'm going to have Eric go ahead and tighten down our rocker nut here. And I'm going to rotate. I'm just, I got my hand down here into the push rod and I'm just rotating it until I feel the slice bit drag. And then, okay, you want to take a little bit off. I can feel drag now and just right at the moment when you feel drag on the push rod all right right there should be good we're going to go ahead and take our um our rocker nut adjustment one half turn now this is about 20 to 25 thousandths depending on your thread count so we see there eric just went from uh just put a one half turn on that um, nut and you know if you get in a tight spot like the back of the engine you can just take um, you know two quarter turns um, whatever you have to do there but anyway so we're making our mark here on which valve we have done we have two to go and then we'll light our engine up and see how it goes but uh, adjusting valves just as simple as that all right so ideally you want to mock everything up and fire your truck up before you have all the belts and everything reassembled. So if you do make a mistake, you can go back and adjust it, but we're pretty confident. We're pretty confident about this here where we know it's gonna work out. So go ahead and start this thing up. There you go, no lifter tick. So that's it. How to adjust valves on a 350 Chevrolet with a hydraulic cam and standard rocker nuts.